Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to very quickly export a bunch of emails using Mac Mail in, in such a simple way and then I'm going to show you what they look like and how they come out. This will save you absolutely loads of time. So let's get started. <clears throat> I've put all my emails into folders using rules, which is fantastic. It saved me hours of time and also my team haven't got to manually move mail. So I don't have to pay anybody or lose any money or time to get it done. So uh, this particular folder has all the emails. It's nice and clear. There are no attachments or anything, so I don't have to save the attachments separately. But we have the dates 2016. It looks like I unsubscribed from these guys, so I can probably delete the whole folder soon. But anyway, we are going to sort by date, which I've already done. <clears throat> and I wanted the oldest message on the top. So we've got January, February, March and April there. You can see I didn't read all of them, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to do that. So we just um, start. I usually like to start from the top, but we can't. So let's just go from the bottom up. Now they're all selected and we go to file, export as PDF. Choose a folder, so I'm going to create a folder called um, free agent and I'm going to call that 2016 just for, just for the sake of it. So there we go <clears throat> and you'll see that happening. And what we now see are 15 messages, that was the original, all converted to PDF and conveniently named according to the subject of the email. How cool is that? Now there's another tip to really quickly rename these, add the text, free agent, I had to type that in, it's just because I did it a moment ago, add the text free agent to the beginning of the name. And you could also put 2016 if you're doing a batch of these emails. Um, it's up to you how you want to organise all the ones you get over the next few years. But um, these basically mean you can clear your email out, you can store the PDFs and you can go through anything later that you feel like, like, that you might need. But then your email stays clean and nice and you can get someone to do this for you and save time. And there we go. So let's just put a space before the name and rename it. And there we go. So... That's brilliant. So if you ever want to search free agent iPhone, <laughs> you can you can do that. But you know HMRC things like that. So uh, we're now going to have a quick look using the preview, and you just want to make sure it looks pretty good, which it does. Let's open in proper preview and see what it looks like. So it's given you the email address from the person, the two email address, the subject, and everything, and a nice signature there. Let's look at a few more. So it's split across two pages, so you might want to just some of them some of them that you you're not happy with, you may just want to manually save them or screenshot them or something, but there's not really a lot you can do about splitting pages that I'm aware of. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I hope that's helped you to quickly file hundreds of emails in one go. Luckily for me, this email folder only has a few in, but there will be some folders that have loads and you can just do them in batches uh, just, to, just so it's easier. Sometimes Mac gets a bit funny with it, but the less you do the better. And uh, it's best to do these on a daily basis, not in one big go. Um, and, and there we go. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, like, thumbs up, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.